Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Yes, we're doing another video in this cloth and makeup because I really like my makeup today, so that's why. Betsy, she tagged me a long time ago for this tag and I was just like, what am I going to do? I have a lot of tags I need to do, so I thought why not start from the end and this was the first tag that I haven't done that I have been tagged in. So this is the get to know me tag. I thought it was kind of perfect because this is my new channel and you don't really know that much about me. And on my other channel, if you came from there, I didn't really do that much of this stuff to get to know me, basically. So I thought, why not? And this tag has 21 questions, so let's just get rolling because there's a lot to talk about. So the first question is, when is your birthday? It is on the December 11th. I I'm turning 23 this year, so I'm very excited about that. On my other channel, I actually did a project pen based on my birthday. I finished 22 products before my birthday, and I was pretty excited about that. Question number two is, what are three of your favorite colors? And I love navy, as you can see. I love uh, Bordeaux, a dark red, and I really, I really don't know actually. Is black a color? <laughs> because I wear black all the time actually, also. So, number three is what are three of your favorite quotes? And uh, some of them is in Danish. So, the first one is the one that is on my phone and it is fight for your dreams. It explains itself. The dreams doesn't come true if you don't fight for them, and yeah, that's basically it. And the other one is, uh, you can do whatever you want to do. So in Danish it is, man kan hvad man vil. I just love that quote and I only stand by that because you can do whatever you want to do. If you want to do this makeup, you can do that. If you want to take that education, you can do that. If you want to travel, you can travel. You can do whatever you want to do if it just makes you happy. The third one is, I have it on my Facebook profile. So I, I will just quick. Find it. It is from Paris of the Caribbean and I really like that one. <laughs> so not all treasure is silver and gold made by Captain Jack Sparrow. I think that is true because yeah not all treasure is gold and silver. You have love that is not gold and silver. So that is my top three quotes. Four. Are you addicted to YouTube? Yes <laughs> I am. Very addicted. Five. What are three of your favorite shows, TV or YouTube, or both? On YouTube, there's a lot of shows and Pretty Pen and stuff like that. So that is basically everything. <laughs> On TV, my favorite TV shows is Grey Anatomy, and I think you pronounce it like that. Uh, Friends. I really, really, really like Full House and the Fuller House newer version. So I have a lot. Of favorite TV shows because I'm a TV show addict, really. <laughs> so number six, what are three qualities you like in a best friend? I want the quality that we can laugh. Basically, almost have the same humor. I have a quite dark humor, so if my best friend can have that as well, it would be perfect. I want the quality that we can travel together. That the person likes to travel as well, um, because I love. To travel. I love seeing new places and explore basically. And the third thing is that we can be silent together without it being awkward. That is a very good quality. Those three things is basically my one of my best friends and my boyfriend. So number seven is do you like your name? Um, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. I think it is a pretty name. I always get told it is a pretty name. In Denmark, it's okay, special, not that much. It's it's not it's not a popular name in Denmark to be to, to be called. In other countries besides Europe, you can't find my name with an S, but it is a Z or something. I don't know what you call a Z. I think, and that annoys me <laughs> sometimes, but. Yeah, Elizabeth is a pretty name, I think. And my middle name, no one, no one can pronounce my middle name except for my family and my boyfriend. And Christensen is a very popular last name in Denmark. And yeah, 
Number eight, if you have the choice to pick your own name, what would it be? I love the name Isabella and I would call my daughter Isabella if it wasn't that much like my own name, Elizabeth. Um, then I would have called her that. So because I can call her that, I would love to have that name if I could. <laughs> what is your dream? And that is question number nine. My dream is to get a family and just be happy because I don't have a dream job. Don't have a dream that I want to travel to that place because I want to travel a lot. I, will, I want to see the world and so that is kind of a dream. But my dream is basically to be happy, to have a family, a great house that have, I have built myself with my boyfriend and yeah, to get married, have kids, build my own house, have a dog, maybe two. The very, very classic, cliche dream, but that is what I want. Number 10, do you wear makeup? Not at all. <laughs> oh, kidding. I do. I'm a made makeup addict like the rest of you guys on my channel, basically. <laughs> I'm pretty sure most of you are makeup addicts like me. That does pretty panning. Number 11. If you could write a book, what would be the title and what would it be about? I don't know what the title would be. I'm not very creative for that kind of stuff. I feel like there's a man looking at me on the cross the road. I think the book would be about me and my life, basically, because I have had some ups and downs in my life with sickness and school and somewhat bullying in my earlier teenage years and not that many friends that I was on and off all the time and stuff like that. So I think it would be about my life. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Something about me, I think. Number 12. What makes you cry? I'm a very, very sensitive girl. So if my boyfriend and I fight, I can cry because I don't like it. I hate yell at other people and get yelled at. Um, so that makes me cry. I'm very, very anxious about flying insects. So like warps, wasp, wasp. That bee thing <laughs> um, and stuff like that. I don't like them. I'm shaking if I didn't see them and s suddenly it came across my head right here. I can cry because I'm just panicking basically. And I can cry if I see some movies. If it is overly happy or very very sad. I cry over nothing when I see a TV show or a movie. Uh, it can be animation when the dog and the owner reunite. <laughs> I'm so... I'm so horrible. And what makes you angry? Um, it's very, very hard to explain. But if people say bullshit about other people, if my boyfriend at work doesn't get treated well, that makes me angry because that's the only thing I can do. <laughs> I can only get angry because I can't do anything about it. Yeah. Yeah, if people don't treat other people well, it makes me angry and I'm very sad because I cannot do anything about it, basically. And what makes you happy? My boyfriend, of course. He surprises me with small things and that is... He is amazing. I did an Instagram post about this, but last Sunday he was supposed to only buy fruit and some, uh, some other food. Um, and to my surprise, when I came out of the bedroom, he had placed on the dining table a bouquet of roses and a Beauty and the Beast Blu-ray DVD. And I love Beauty and the Beast. By the way, I cried to Beauty and the Beast. I did. Just to make me happy. But <laughs> he is amazing. He will do anything for me. And what makes me happy? I love baking. I love traveling. I love makeup. <laughs> so stuff like that makes me happy. What is fangirling? Why am I supposed to describe what fangirling is? If I saw some of my favorite YouTubers, for example, um, or favorite actors, 
um, Zac Efron for example, I'm a huge fan of him. Or if I saw Suella or Prentis Burger Joe Sock or something, the big YouTubers, you know. I love them so much. If I saw them, I would be a bit fangirl, I think. That is Zac Efron. What I'm going to do? I'm getting hard. I'm going to sweat all the time. I think that's it. Number 16, what are your three favorite snacks? I am dying over chili nuts. So it's like basically peanuts with a shell of chili powder or something. It's amazing. I can eat them all the time. And almonds and cashew nuts. I love nuts. <laughs> So those three nuts are basically my favorite snack. I love um, a granola bar sometimes. That's a snack too. Uh, raisins as well. Love those. Grapes. Love grapes. What are your three favorite foods? Really? <laughs> I love food. I really love food. I love Italian. I love Danish food. food. Danish food is good and Chinese food. I love Chinese food. So for Chinese food I like noodles, I like the fried chicken, I love the rice, I like um, sushi, some sushi, not all of it. Um, and for the Danish food I love some potatoes with some sauce and some meat and stuff like that. Our national stick flesh meal pizzili sauce. <laughs> That is a very good as well. Um, and for the Italian one, pizza, pasta, pasta carbonara is amazing. I can die for that. What are your three favorite drinks? So, I love water. I love um, Fanta. For a drink with alcohol in it, I love the pina colada. And I love something called Verdi and Asti, some uh, sweeter wine, basically. 19. Can you tell us a little about yourself? At least 10 random facts about you. Oh my god. Okay. I am very tall. I'm 1 meter and 76 centimeters. I like dolphins a lot. I'm addicted to TV series. I just said that before. I love roller coasters that really goes up and down and on, been around and stuff like that. I love Harry Potter and I love, um, in Denmark we have these uh, julekalender. Every Christmas there is something called julekalender. Christmas calendar, basically, where every day in Christmas there's a new episode. So it's like a TV series only for Christmas time, so only in December. And there's only 24 episodes of this julekalender. And I like this particular series called Pures and it is about small elves and yeah, I loved it a lot. I have my light chain from Christmas hanging in stone because my boyfriend do not want to take it down. <laughs> I have an obsession with copper, so my lamp is copper, um, my fruit bowl is copper, I have light things in cover. I'm finished next summer with my study and then I will be a, a mar marketing management person, basically. I love flowers. Flowers makes me happy. I should have said that before. I have an obsession with pineapples. Pineapples? Pineapples and I have an obsession with French Bulldogs. I will want one at some time. Um, I don't know how many that was, but enough. <laughs> what are three fun things you like to do? Fun things. Sometimes I'm not that funny. I really like to just sit by my phone and play games or watch YouTube videos. I'm kind of lazy, you know, sometimes. Fun things. Uh, I can be funny when I play PlayStation with my boyfriend. That's fun too. Going to a park where there's roller coasters. <laughs> that is fun. I like that a lot. Um, I like to travel. That is fun for me too. I don't know. The smaller things in life makes me happy. 21 is tag three people to do this. I do not know who I'm going to tag because this is 
a tag that have been around for quite a long time and I'm sure many people have done it but I will list some people down below so if your name is tagged I would love to see your answers to this and I hope you enjoyed and stick around if you're new there's a subscribe button down below like the video if you enjoyed it and follow my social media I will be so happy if you do so and yeah please take care until i will see you in my next video bye guys